The single easiest way to boost the UI UX of your Microsoft Dynamics platform is adding input controls. And guess what? Every table has whole number fields. So enhance the number fields on your forms by using this control in just a couple of minutes. Let's dive into the Power Apps Maker Portal and talk about how you can get the number input control added onto your forms. As always, here we are back in the Power Apps Maker Portal. In today's example, we are looking to add this number input control to our main work order form. Specifically, we have a custom hours spent field where we want field technicians to kind of track how many hours they're spending on a certain work order. Now these technicians pretty much exclusively work through the field service mobile app and this number input control boosts the UI tremendously. Here I am on the work order main form and to add this control, what you're gonna have to do is click components up in the ribbon and then on the left hand side, look for the inputs group, open that up and then find the number input control. Be sure that you already have an idea of where you want this field to go beforehand. For me, I want it to be right here at the bottom of this first section on our summary tab. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the control and you can drag and drop it where you want it to go. Once you let go, it's gonna ask you to select which number field that you want this control to sit on. If it's not obvious, you can only put the number input control on columns that are of type number. After all, it's the number input control. I mean, I'm not trying to be mean here or anything, but you knew that. Anyways, then you have this next property you have to outline. Essentially, what these properties are outlining is what do you want these plus and minus buttons to do to the data when you select them. If you wanted the value in this field to increase or decrease by an amount that's outlined in another field, then you would select this checkbox here. That is pretty niche, so we're not gonna be doing that today. And if you do not select a column, then you have to select the type. I would recommend selecting whichever number type your column that you're putting this control on is. So for my case, this hours spent field is a whole number field. Thus, I'm selecting the whole number type for the control. Now, this static value confused me at first. At first, I thought it was some sort of default value, but this is actually determining how much you want the whole number to increase or decrease by when someone selects the button. Essentially, if you set the static value to one, then clicking the plus button on this control is going to increase the input by one or inversely decrease it by one. If you wanted to increase this by two or three, then if you put three in the static value and hit the plus button, it's gonna go from one to four to seven to 10, et cetera. Side note, you can add decimals into this static value as well, but because my field is a whole number, the decimals would not work in my situation. But say that this is a decimal field, then you could set decimals in the static value as well. I hope this is making sense. If, if it's not, Go ahead and ask your questions in the comments down below. I'm happy to, to help if I'm not explaining this well. <laughs> now moving on, you're gonna wanna stick to the end of the video where we're gonna talk about how this control is actually affecting your data and one important nuance that you need to be aware of. At the moment though, I think this is good to go. So let's go ahead and save and publish. If you're finding this video helpful or insightful, be sure to let me know in the comments down below. Reading and reacting to comments is truly the best part about making content on YouTube. So if you would wanna do that, that'd be awesome. Okay, we are done publishing. Let's go ahead and take a look at a work order in Dynamics, but I'm not gonna do it in the desktop. I'm gonna do it in the field service mobile app just to kind of continue with our example of field technicians. If I open the field service mobile app on my phone and then navigate to a work order and scroll down, you can see that the control is here and Mwah, it looks great. Clicking the plus and minus buttons are just so much easier than if this was just a whole number column where I have to click on the field, hit the backspace on my keyboard, hit the number thing on my keyboard to switch to the numbers, hit the number, hit enter on my keyboard. Like it's just so, it's just so much easier. The experience is so much better. It saves a ton of clicks. One thing to keep in mind is this control is going to update the whole number field in real time. I mean, you do still need to save the Dataverse record, but I'm just talking about, you know, the data on the form itself in case you have any script or business logic like that. Also, I do not believe there is a way to change the color of these buttons in the Power Apps Maker Portal. I'm sure you could do this actually in the XML if necessary. This way you can get technical and really personalize it 
to the business. If you're interested in how to boost the UI UX even more in your Microsoft Dynamics environment, go ahead and check out this playlist here where I cover a host of different controls currently available in Power Apps. Thank you guys so much for sticking to the end of the video. My name is Griffin Lickvelt, the host of Citizen Developer, and I'm excited to connect with you guys in the next one.